Hello my little storm crabs and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to trap your sim in a hamster cage or any of the other pet cages in here. They all work the same. I don't actually think I came up with this idea first because I've looked since creating the video and I saw a picture on Google. I think it was from the sim community page. I will find everything and link everything below because I do want to credit the person. Even if I didn't get the idea from them, I still want to credit them because they still did the idea first. So if I find everything, I'll pop their name up on screen. If they do videos, I will link them all down below. I just think that is fair. And I don't know if they did it exactly the same way as me. They might have done it differently because I haven't seen a video. It's just what I briefly saw and I was like, I'd rather not watch it because I don't want to end up doing it exactly the same if they do it slightly different. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to create this functional space for your sims as well as the little hamster here. Don't forget you do need to feed and water and do whatever else, clean the cage. You can do that from the normal floor height. You would have to get a sim to come down here and click on it that way. You don't exactly want a dead hamster um, with your sim living in the cage. But I'm going to show you how I did this. I have bb.move objects turned on. I always have this turned on because I have a mod. But if you don't know how to put it on, press Ctrl, Shift and C if you are on a PC. And if you are on a console, go ahead and hold all four shoulder buttons. If you don't know what the shoulder buttons are, it is the four back buttons on the back of the controller. Once that comes up, type in bb.move objects on or lowercase. All one word other than the on, so just a space between the word and on and press enter. So over here I have Hammy the hamster. I did have somebody tell me Hammy was not a hamster. Um, Hammy is a hamster. I know what a hamster looks like. They kept saying it was a guinea pig. Hammy is not a guinea pig. You can just tell even by the size and the sim sizing is not great. The fact that it has a dust bath because you should not put guinea pigs in a dust bath and a wheel. I mean you should not put your hamsters in this type of wheel anyway. The flat ones are a lot better for their spine. And also if a guinea pig went through this, it is not making it around those corners and vertical drop. When I tell you, guinea pigs are not agile, whereas Syrian hamsters, which I'm assuming this is a Syrian hamster, it gives more of the look of a Syrian hamster. They can do all this sort of thing fine. My Syrian hamster used to hang from the top of the cage and just drop and then go do it again. She was a little weird. I don't know if it was a way to keep herself entertained. She had a lot of stuff in a cage and a cage was fairly large. Um, I also had guinea pigs. This, this, this here is a hamster. Don't tell me it's not a hamster. Hammy is a hamster. You could also do it with Thimble. Thimble is a pygmy hedgehog. Um, and then we also have Whiskers. Is Whiskers a rat or a mouse? It's a rat, definitely, by the looks of that. I've also had rats. And we've also got Bubbleus. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. And this is just weird. He's a strange little creature. The body of a hippopotamus, the colour and spiral shape of a violet sea snail, and the fur and size of a disposition of a hamster. So yeah, that's what it is apparently. So you want to start out with your small pet. I am using Hammy the hamster. I'm going to size it up. I think it's six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That seems right. So there's a couple of ways you could actually do this. The way I do it is with the platform method. But I was thinking about it the other day. You could draw a room and then draw another room on top, delete the bottom room and adjust the top room to the correct height. But I'm not doing it that way, but there is that method of doing it also. So what I'm going to do is draw a room around this. If you've not got it exactly right, it does not matter. You can adjust stuff like I've not made it right here. And then you can place this in there. It should look something like this. Now to hide these walls, I just went ahead and used a spandrel. I'm using this one from For Rent just because it comes in some nice colours. And I wanted to use blue since there's blue on the bottom of this. But just pick one that matches or sort of blends in as much as possible. Right, now I'm just going to move him out of the way and press page up to get your floor. Now on top of this, you want to draw a platform. So I'm using the platform tool, which is this tool here. And all you do is drag across the area you want a platform. And this is one high and you need it too high. So just go ahead and click once more on the platform area. Now what you want to do is page down again because you want to make sure this is placed on the ground floor here because that's what makes this functional because this is technically on the ground floor. It just sticks up through to the next floor. And you should have something that looks like this. What I did in my last one is made this platform here shorter. So I just draw a room and then just go in one high on that platform. And then you can remove the walls. The reason I'm doing this is that your sim's feet will stick through the floor, but the head height now won't, cl won't clip through this. So that's the only reason I'm doing that. Someone also asked if you could do this on the second story, but this one I might be able to do because there's a good height distance here. So if a wall height matches, maybe I could get it to work. So I'm just going to test it. Why not? I 
I've changed that to two. I don't know if that's exactly right. I think I'm too tall. If I just push that back and then raise the platform, but not as high as the walls and then delete the walls. Let's see if that platform's in sort of the right, but it's not because I need to set it to medium wall height. I'm an idiot. Maybe that is the correct height. So y'all just see me here testing things out. I don't normally leave this stuff in. I think that could be right. I'm gonna leave it at that. So I'm gonna delete the walls. Now I have the platform for this section. It's not wanting me to remove this wall and I don't know why. Remove wall, there we go. If it's ever clipping and wanting to sit on the top, just page down and that should be fine. I think I've managed to do that. I think that looks okay. It's not perfect. It also means that your person's not gonna like walk in here, which is good, I suppose. Do I do it one smaller? Oops, see what I mean? It's good up there. So I like to just page down and put it back where it was. I think that's a bit better so it doesn't stick through this as much and you can still use up there I think. Now I'd recommend changing the colour of the platform and the floor just so it sort of blends in a little bit better. So for platform trims if you don't know where they are, if you go to the walls and empty room section, down here at the bottom we have platform trims and I always use this one painted perfection. It comes in so many colours and it is base game and I'm just painting it a blue colour. And for the flooring, just go ahead and do whatever you would like here. So time to add your ladders and like I said in the shorts version of this you could get your sim to come up here and then remove the ladder so they are trapped up there but you need to make sure you clean the cage so you would have to have a sim come down here to clean the cage. So if you don't know where the ladders are they are just here look there is a base game one so just under the stairs section you have ladders options if you don't have the ladders options you need to update your game because ladders have been in the game for quite a while now. So to fit these correctly because you could like play it like here it's not going to place because there is two different heights of the platform so you could do it next to it this is not the right way your sim's going to like come up inside there and it looks a bit strange so if you see my square here is currently going around forwards you want it this way if that makes sense and look you want it snapped to the outside like this like i said it is a bit finicky but this way you're going to kind of come up through the cage this way you're going to come up on the outside of the cage to get in so you also want ladders coming up to this area in here. So again, just make sure it's flipped the right way or it won't snap in. So I'm gonna place it here so it looks like they're coming up through here. I'm guessing the Sims head will stick through this, but I'm gonna put a couch in there or something. The hamster still will be able to chill in here and they might glitch through each other, but you know, it's just a bit of fun this. So now it's just all about like decorating the area. So like I said, I'm gonna place a small couch in here. I can even the little TV in here maybe. What I'm going to do to make things easier is just remove this right now so I can see what I'm doing because it's really difficult with that there. Now I'm going to use the pastel pop kit couch and do one with like a funky pattern because why not? Right now we need a bed. I love putting the bed over the little sand pit that the hamster has and it does mean that the hamster will sometimes look like it's jumping on the bed and rolling around because it's rolling in the sand. It's quite a cute little interaction so I'm just going to go ahead and place this here over this. So now I can place my counters in here and then I need a fridge. I love the Home Chef Hustle Pack, the fridge, like the fact that the fridge matches, it looks super cute. So I'm gonna place that in there. And I also need a sink. Let's place a sink in here. And then also we need the oven or whatever. I'm gonna place one of the electric ovens in with the induction hob because your sim can cook on there just fine. And then I'm gonna add a little seating area just here. And I love this little table. It's so cute. So I'm gonna use this table and I'm gonna use these chairs in this blue color just so it looks fun. Like I, I like colorful stuff, um, especially when I'm doing like some fun like this. So I did my bathroom under this area. Like I said, I've lowered the platform so your sim's legs will go through the floor here, but that is just because I don't want the head sticking through that. I'd rather the legs go through the floor and the head's not sticking through this section. I think it looks a little bit better. So I'm just gonna add a toilet for my sim. Should we do that colorful? Cause there's colorful options. Let's do it blue so it blends in. And I'm gonna, I've raised it twice just so it looks a little bit better. You can raise items twice and it still be functional. And I'm gonna block this off with a wall so it adds a little bit of privacy, but not really, because you can still see it. Maybe maybe move the buff along. If you, ca you can't click on things once they're in, so you can just move the hamster cage and adjust as necessary, and then pop the hamster cage back. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So I have a bathroom, I have a seating area, I have a kitchen, and 
on my previous one I did a little computer area here but because there's ladders there I can't put it right there but I can find somewhere else for it maybe just next to the bed will be just fine um just here I think it'll be okay your sim still should be able to get in the bed I believe because I only need the center tile I think your sim has pretty much everything it needs but you could go ahead and decorate and add some other things if you want you could add a little bookshelf somewhere just next to here like I said they will just walk through this slide that is the most annoying thing and your hamster will just run around I think I've got everything in there so I'm gonna bring my sim into here so to do it, because you can't click on the items, I know that's super annoying. What you can do, and not everyone knows this, is you can just click on these here. So as long as you don't have anything else on the lot, like another bed somewhere down here, your sim will go to this bed. So if I just click down here and press play, you will see she is going around. And look, look, Hammy <laughs> is using the bed. I know it's glitched through a little bit, but it's because the sand is a little bit lower down and they will sleep in the same bed together. <laughs> um, you get this sort of weird like banding thing going on here that is to do with the hamster. It's it's totally fine. Hammy's up there sleeping in the couch. Um, but like I said, this is just for a little bit of fun. You could take away the ladders so they are truly trapped in there. But like I said, you need somebody to then clean the hamster cage. Um, let's get her to go cook something because hopefully I haven't forgot to put anything in the kitchen because I always forget something. Usually it's a bin. And look, she's using the kitchen. Hammy's rolling around on the bed. I do apologize for the lighting. It is dark. And she's using her little dining table. What I did do, I just did really quickly off camera to make things look a little better. These were sticking through the floor slightly because the platform's not quite high enough. If you go one higher, it looks, um, it's too far. So I raised all the items once. So the bed once, this once, everything here is raised once. And your sim will still be able to use it. It's totally functional, only being raised once. I wish I could get it to sit up here. If I go fun, is she going to go to the computer or the TV? Um, so let's see what she does. Let's go in here. She's got the TV thing on, so I think she's gonna go up here. Her legs will stick through Hammy. This might be funny. <laughs> can I, if I'm in here, can I? <gasps> if you go in the cage, you can click on it. Oh, that's the one I've just found out. <laughs> I knew her head was gonna stick through, but she's watching TV. This is a, well, this is difficult to do. I'm so sorry. Anyway, she is watching TV in there. You can see. There we go. She's watching TV in her little upstairs living room. You could put a bed up there and have the TV or something down there. Hammy's in his wheel. Um, yeah, and all this stuff here is functional as well. It works exactly the same. There's only one step here, so it's, Sims can get up and down. Oh, look at Hammy. He's just eating his food. Let's turn this back to daytime so we can see. But that is it for this video. It is just a little bit of fun. I had fun making this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.